Hello and welcome again to Daniels and Nick's Palette Wood Camper YouTube channel. In part 1 of this series of 3 videos, the two men are attempting to address now that summer is here and strangely for Scotland, it is a very warm June. Whilst we are working on the final part of the sofa bed settee the two men are finding the heat in the shed is just too warm. Due to Nick's disability, it is hard for him to work outside and bend as well as walk and the safest place for him to work is within the safety of the shed from the trusty old computer chair he sits upon whilst working. The two boys came to the conclusion as well as the air fan they have wouldn't be nice to have air conditioning, and they devised a plan to do just that. Now as you are aware the two men have little money and they utilize pallet wood and other junk that Nick has hoarded over the years and stored in his shed. He pulled out two small USB 4 inch fans and came up with a plan first testing it on a larger scale in the shed with the larger fan. So the test worked all the two boys had to do was to miniature the idea into a small confined area trapping the cool air and exhaust that would expel the cool air into the shed. They got to work on the body of the unit using some pallet wood and some MDF board Nick had retrieved from out of a skip that some builders were using nearby and filling with their waste, ensuring that all internal facing sides were reflective. They used simple plain aluminum foil from the local pound store and adhered it with the help of diluted good quality wood glue with a little water to make it easier to brush on and repeated the process several times and finalized the foil with separate coats of cheap varnish. So they calculated the cubic space of the camper and calculated the cubic feet per minute of air they required for a constant airflow within the confines of the camper. What does the cubic feet per minute mean you may ask? CFM stands for cubic feet per minute. It is a unit of measurement used to quantify the volume flow rate of a substance, typically air, through a specific point in a system. CFM is commonly used in applications related to ventilation, heating, and cooling, where it helps determine the airflow capacity of fans, air conditioning units, and other equipment. The CFM value indicates how many cubic feet of air can pass through a particular area in one minute. They have established a means of controlling the temperature with ice and powered with a small cheap 3 pounds USB 2000 mAh power bank the two USB fans are capable of running for a constant 8 hours. Obviously, a more expensive higher rated USB power bank would be ideal but as always the two men are on a tight budget. Now to control the cool air they had to address the problem of insulation. What is affordable the two men ponder. When it comes to finding affordable insulation options, there are a few materials that are often considered cost effective. 1. Fiberglass insulation. Fiberglass insulation is one of the most widely used and affordable types of insulation. It is made from tiny glass fibers and is available in bats, rolls, or loose fill form. Fiberglass insulation provides good thermal resistance and is relatively easy to install. 2. Cellulose insulation. Cellulose insulation is made from recycled paper and treated with fire retardants. It is available in loose fill form and can be blown into attics or wall cavities. Cellulose insulation offers good thermal performance and is an eco-friendly option. 3. Mineral wool insulation. Mineral wool insulation, also known as rock wool or slag wool, is made from natural or recycled minerals. It comes in bats or loose fill form. Mineral wool provides excellent thermal and sound insulation properties, and it is resistant to fire. 4. Foam board insulation. Foam board insulation, such as expanded polystyrene, EPS, or extruded polystyrene, XPS, is a rigid insulation material. It offers high thermal resistance and can be used in various applications, including walls, roofs, and foundations. It's important to note that the best insulation choice depends on various factors, such as the specific requirements of your project, climate conditions, and local building codes. It is recommended to consult with professionals or local experts to determine the most suitable and cost-effective insulation option for your specific needs. They decided to use old shredded junk mail and foam from an old settee wrapped in aluminum foil contained within a watertight Ziploc polythene bag. Mad. Yes, but it does work. So they have put their plan into action and now built the carcass if you subscribe to our channel at Pallet Wood Camper you can see the final result in part 2. Thank you very much for taking the time to view and we would very much appreciate a thumbs up like. Please feel free to comment with any questions or comments you may have. Thank you and the two men hope you have a nice day.